guys, welcome to another vlog. It is Friday morning and Ted and I have been busy all morning packing, getting the car loaded up, getting the dogs ready because we're about to go to Mount Enterprise, Texas to the Born Free Motorcycle Show. And I am so excited. Ted has been to this before and uh, I've never been to a bike show before. It's my first time. And also we are gonna be tent camping. So if you know me at all, you know I'm not a huge fan of like primitive tent camping. But Ted paid for this trip for us and I am gonna go and have a great time. He has a really nice tent. We bought an air mattress and air pump. We got a cooler, we got the grill. Like we are gonna set up and have ourselves a good old time. So right now I am trying to get the dogs ready. I'm gonna go drop them off. They are staying at my groomers. I'm boarding them for the weekend because even though pets are allowed at this place, I don't wanna have to keep up with them because there is live music and all kinds of stuff to do. And I don't wanna have to like keep the dogs with me everywhere I go with this thing. So they are gonna stay the weekend um, at the groomers, which they love going to because they have lots of other dogs and cats to play with and they will be well taken care of and we won't have to worry about them. Ted's cramming the last of our stuff into the car. Oh, Can we get it in there? We gotta bring our pillows and blankets. We've got so much stuff stuffed into my trunk right now. Oh, yeah, it'll fit. Now I just have to get the dogs ready and we're gonna hit the road, y'all. I am so excited. We've got about a four hour drive ahead of us to Mount Enterprise. And I just did very minimal makeup today because obviously we're going camping. Like I don't wanna be worried about dealing with a lot of makeup. So I just did a real light, um, light pink eyeshadow. The color of the day today is rose. So I'm wearing my moth shirt, my rose quartz necklace that a subscriber sent me. Yes, my nails still look like shit. I am going to paint those when we get there, hopefully. And then I'm just wearing some shorts and fishnets and docks. I don't know if you can see that or not. Sorry, I'm doing the best I can. Handheld camera today. Y'all, Ted is all decked out for the trip and he looks so freaking cute. I love your vest. This is my riding vest, keeps me warm. The cramps, flogging Molly. America. America. So Ted is gonna be riding the Harley and I am taking the car so that I can take all of our camping equipment and he is gonna follow me. So we're ready to go. I just gotta go drop off the dogs. Let's do it. You ready? I'm ready. I'm filming you. dropped off at the groomer and they are staying there. I'm going to go pick them up on Monday morning and there's Ted in front of me. We are going down to a gas station somewhere. We got to get ice for the cooler because we've got our meat in there and uh, I'm going to get something to drink for the road and then we're heading to Texas. We're stopped here at a little gas station off Highway 7 so Ted can put some gas in the bike and we're going to get some ice. I'm gonna get something to drink. I know yeah. you can't have a drink on the bike. That yeah, sucks. Yeah, I just have to down it before we go. Yeah. I Did your phone it. hold up? Oh, I took it off. I'll wait till we get close so I don't kill the battery. Oh, that. okay. He's got a little phone holder for his bike. That's what I was asking about. You gotta go pee? Yeah. All right, better do it now. Pump four. Yeah, I forget I'm ready to get out on the road and then we're stuck in all this traffic. I, I know, central traffic was bad. Yeah. All right, we got two bags of ice here. Ooh, that oh, there's none in there? Oh, there there we go. Two bags of ice for the cooler because we have like a giant cooler. It's Ted's. Yeah, I bought it in Indiana. And then... I got myself a life water because this little podunk station didn't have any spring water. What did you get, Ted? Oh, a the, mango smoothie. Make it smoothie. You gotta down all that right now before we go. Yeah. You ready? He was gonna get a Red Bull. They're little, that's why they're like eight ounces. Yeah. Y'all, this is the kind of gas station where there were a bunch of old men just sitting there and at tables drinking coffee and talking about the town gossip. Didn't expect that all out here on the end of Highway 7, but uh, Ted's coming over here to help with the ice. He just got gas. Five dollars. Wonder how far that's gonna go. Full tank. Five bucks. Hell yeah. You better start down in that smoothie. Oh, it's thick. And <laughs> it looked thick. Tastes good. Well, you can always put it in the cooler if you don't finish it. You don't oh, have to well, drink I'm it all. To shake it. Oh. <laughs> Probably why it's so thick. It says it has mango puree, apple juice, water, orange juice, banana puree, lemon juice, 
and vitamin A, which is pretty good. Yeah, just a lot of healthy, juices. a lot of sugar too. Yeah, I don't think I could drink one of those. Natural sugars though. Oh, uh, well. Okay, here's our gigantic cooler. And, oh, it's got beer in it already, all right. All right, awesome. It's got beer and meat. That's what we're taking with us. Well, it's got a lot of water. I put like two. Oh, you, oh, yeah, we also have bottled water in, in there too. Yeah, we bought a whole case of bottled water. Because where we're going, they do have like uh, food trucks and there's like a bar and different things there. But where we're going to be camping, it's pretty primitive from what I understand. So we oh, try yeah. to be prepared as possible, bring yeah. lots of drinks and. I mean, as far as water or food or any drink, like they would have all that there. Yeah, but yeah. Better to have our own. We have to spend as much money. Yeah, they'll charge you quite a bit. Yeah. Not like a concert, but they'll charge you. Yeah. Much. of Texarkana, Arkansas, on the border of Texas, kind of. And we stopped at this little gas station here. I am about to pee my pants. I don't even know where Ted went. I think he parked over on this end of the parking lot somewhere. I guess we'll go find him. Or maybe at the gas pump, but I don't think he'll need gas yet. Where'd you go, baby? I found him. He was at the gas pump. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think you'd need gas yet. But I just saw we're getting close and you're gonna leave because I don't know what exit or nothing to take in Texarkana. Yeah, Ted's been leading us to Texarkana and then I'm gonna take over the lead from here to like Henderson, Texas. Yeah. I've gotta pee really bad. Yeah, I do too. All right, I'm going in. Right. At the uh, flying, oh flying something, flying T. Oh I parked over yeah. there, flying J, oh. I parked over there at the end. Oh uh, yeah, I guess. Okay, all right, I'm going in to pee, y'all. Y'all, as I was walking in, Ted goes, there's your buddy, there's a crow in the parking lot. They're following me, I swear. The crow came to uh, visit me this morning in the yard too, that's been visiting me in the backyard. That place had a Cinnabon in it, and oh my God, it smelled so good. Um, I haven't eaten anything yet today. I'm trying to wait until we get there. I hear Ted uh, cranking up the Harley. He's gonna come over here and park next to me. Oh, there's another little crow. Oh my God, they're everywhere. I keep fucking up and thinking I'm recording. This iPhone does that to me all the time. Uh, Ted's putting a little oil in the bike. Does it need oil this soon? No, I'm just, it was a little low from when I changed it earlier. Oh. And it's hard to know till you drive it, till it all like yeah. goes through. Um, well, good luck resisting those Cinnabons in there. There's a lady in there making fresh cinnamon buns right now. Yeah, I gotta go pee. <laughs> Don't worry, it's great. No, I've still got my water and we've got waters in the cooler, so I'm good. Thank you. So Ted's gonna go in and pee and then we're gonna have a little drink of water and get back on the road. I gotta get my map set up because I'm taking over the lead now. And uh, I'm gonna get us to right outside of where we're going, which is a place called Yellow Rose Canyon in Mount Enterprise, Texas. So I'm gonna get us to like somewhere around Henderson, Texas, and then Ted's gonna take over the lead because he knows how to like get into the campground and where he wants to go and all that. But he doesn't know like the exits and stuff from here to there. It's not too bad of a drive and it is a really lovely day today too. A really nice day for a drive. So I just put it into my maps app. This route avoids construction on US 59 South. Cool. You're on the fastest route. All right. You should reach your destination by 4.58 p.m. Awesome, we're gonna get there about Head 5 p.m. Okay. We're gonna get there about 5 p.m. We've got about two hours and 22 minutes left and that is perfect because we got to get there before dark to set up the tent. Here comes Teddy. So as we were getting ready to leave, my low tire pressure gauge came on the car. So I pulled over here to this air pump and Ted is gonna put some air in my tires. I don't know which one it is. Oh, let me get some quarters. It's a trucker's paradise. It is a trucker's paradise. Right over here, there's a lounge and a place where you can get tires, mechanic, road service, record service, and beer, store. and a porn store, yeah. Toys and theaters. Toys and theaters, that's nice. You can drink a beer and go watch some porn while you get your car worked on. Yeah. It's great. We're putting $2.50 in quarters in this. No refunds. 
can't get refunded on your air purchase. So my tires hold, I don't know, 38 PSI for my tires. Yeah, all of them set to 38 PSI. Except for the spare, it says to set it to 60. Oh, this one, you're at 32. This may be the low one. I don't know if it's more than one low or just this one. Thank you for putting air in my tires, though. I appreciate it. Yeah, I aired the bike up. I should have done yours. I didn't even think about it. That one's good. All right, cool. Man, this machine is fancy. You just set it to the PSI and it gets you there and tells you when it's there. We still have some time left on the air machine, so Ted's gonna go grab the bike and come over here and check his tires, if it lasts. He got all of mine uh, aired up to 38 PSI. Still going. Oh, it says five minute cycle. So he may have time to get over here. Hurry, babe, hurry. It's a five minute cycle. Oh yeah, we should have time. Yeah. These should be good. I did them before. Before you left? Yeah. Might as well check them while we're here and have the time. He set his to 40 PSI. Let's see what it is. 38. Oh, it just went to 44. 42. 41. 40. Okay, getting back on the road, and I'm probably going to go another hour before I stop again because Ted's ass gets sore after a while on the bike. So we just stopped at the 3F Bait Company, which is also a diner and it's this little tiny building off the side of the highway we both had to pee so bad and then ted bought a twinkie yeah for a dollar no tax <laughs> is it good yeah, yeah really i haven't ate one in years neither have i and i don't like twinkies but anyway yeah we're just out here on the side of some highway in texas i don't i don't remember i think this is highway 49 or something like that 43 40 I don't know anyway we just both had to pee so bad and this was the only place out here so they were so kind to uh, let us use the bathroom and Ted gave them some patronage with his Twinkie purchase so we're about 68 miles away from our destination about an hour and 17 minutes so this might be our last stop of the trip we'll see how it goes or actually we're gonna have to stop one more time before we get there so Ted can take over the lead to get us into the campground look at this huge bee that landed on Ted's boot i was like oh my god look at that bee and he goes everything's bigger in texas even the bees look at that thing even the bees <laughs> in Texas making our last stop before we get there we're actually about 20 minutes away or I think like 16 minutes away I'm sorry uh, from our campground so we're just stopping here at this little Tegs Mart and I think Ted's over there at the gas pump let's go find him putting 10 bucks in this time yeah, Look at you. it did get low yeah. and then uh, he's gonna take over in the lead from here to the campground i'm so ready to get there i'm so tired of driving and i'm looking forward to this it's going to be fun we got to get our born free bracelets on this is how we get into the event yeah this is like your ticket yep we just have to when we pull up you just stick your arm out the window and show them your braceleted arm and they just wave you right in yeah pretty much so we're going to put these on and then ted's map is saying we're only 13 minutes away so we are super close and now we're gonna go down there, get checked in or whatever. I guess you don't even check in. You just drive in with this on, and well, then yeah, we will- Well, have one. If you already have the bracelet, you just drive pretty much drive Drive right through, in. and then we're gonna go and set up camp. Oh wait, yeah, I want it on that wrist. This one? Yeah, so I can just stick it out the window while I drive. Or not How while- How tight do you want it? I don't know. Like that? That's fine, yeah. Or tighter. That's fine, thank you. All right. We're ready. 
out here I don't know where the hell I'm going I just had to squeeze in between a golf court and a telephone pole that I didn't think I could get through and Ted had to get off his bike and like direct me around it and there's just people everywhere okay I'm following him we're here oh my god I had to squeeze I didn't think I was gonna make it in between there yeah I didn't even think of it with the car yeah the people are just everywhere like there's no you could just drive anywhere out here I guess um, I'm still in the car guys. Ted has parked. We're trying to figure out where to set up our camp and where where do I need to park the car? I mean, you can just back it down there. That's kind of, that's where I set it up last year like in those kind of where that green one is. I got my spot. Somebody took your spot. Okay, well we'll figure it out. I'll be back guys. I'm just leaving the car right here in the middle of this field for now while we figure out where the hell we're gonna set up our tent and stuff. Cause it's just like, there's not spots. It's just oh, open. I mean, you, we could set it up right here if we wanted to. Like you can see people are camping all around us. So yeah, we'll find a good spot somewhere and then I'll move the car maybe. I need to get out my gimbal so this is steadier footage. All right, y'all, so I brought the car down here kind of to the tree line and there's somebody else's tent right there. We are gonna set up a tent somewhere right. in the trees. <laughs> Ted's gonna hack down all this stuff. And uh, we're gonna put the tent right here because we are right underneath the trees in case it gets warm tomorrow. It's actually like feeling pretty cool out here right now. Like I'm comfortable in a sweater. I don't know what it is now. It feels like it's about 65 to me. Yeah, it was starting to get a little cold on the bike. I bet it was. So once Ted gets done hacking down all these little shrubs here, uh, we're gonna try to set the tent up right here in these pine needles. We have an air mattress, so it should be comfortable even if we have a little stubbiness on the bottom. But yeah, this is, this is the kind of camping I have not done in a long time. But I still think it's gonna be fun. No, I haven't. First things first, y'all. I am getting a beer for Ted and a White Claw hard seltzer for me because I don't want to get shit faced. I'm not drinking a bunch of hard liquor, but I am drinking these spiked sparkling waters that only have one gram of carb each. White Claw Surf. And Ted is down here getting the tent stuff out. And we're just going to set it up right here, <laughs> right here in these pine needles. It'll work. Here, you want a beer? before you start that. Oh yeah. Here you go. Ooh, yeah, it's cold on my hand. Yeah, it's been in there. Don't take long to set it up. Okay, I'll help you. Just tell me what you want me to do. on the tent we got it mostly set up we just have to stake it into the ground and Ted's going to borrow a hammer from somebody so that he can hammer these stakes into the ground to secure our tent and spread it out a little bit and it's kind of small it's probably just gonna house our air mattress and that's it but it's just for sleeping we also brought some camp chairs so we can sit outside so Ted just went and got a hammer uh, from the people that he camped next to last time 
uh, really nice. Well, I just met one of them who came over here and introduced himself, so that was cool. Oh, this don't have the thing. Uh oh. Did we get you any string or anything? No. What are we missing? Here, I'll show you. Like, see, this one has this little black part on it here. Where oh, you, like the little. Yeah, you yeah. put the stake on that. That side doesn't have one. Uh, let's see if we can come up with something. I don't know, babe. Yeah, we'll figure something out. Yeah. yeah but the guy was like, we were wondering if Ted was going to come this year. You certainly make an impression on people, baby. They've been out here since Wednesday. They said Jeez. they lit a fire Wednesday and it was real nice. And then the fire department came and had to put oh, it on. Oh, no. So I found this piece of string in the tent and we're going to use that to anchor down the peg on this side. Is that going to work? I think it will. I don't see why it wouldn't. Yeah, and then just loop this off. It should work. Yeah. There's the porta potties over there I'm gonna have to be going to use. But once it gets dark, I'll just piss in the woods. Yeah, there's some Like the there. proper southern girl I am. And then we should have brought some toilet paper. Right up where it kind of wise off is yeah. where the showers and more bathrooms over there. Okay, too. cool. There are shower facilities here, thank goodness. Yeah, that'll work. Yep, that's the last one going in. This is a super easy tent to assemble. I remember assembling a tent with my parents when I was a teenager and it was like so oh, difficult. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna that work. That did it. Okay, so now it's looking a, now it's looking a bit better here. Putting the top on. So we're not just open to the elements. It's gonna get down into the 40s tonight, you guys. Oh, they said they were out here Wednesday. It was like 30. They were like, we almost got a hotel room. Really? Well, it's supposed to be like 41 or 44 or something tonight. We did bring all of our blankets. Oh yeah, Ted said it was hot last year, like 90 degrees and he went swimming. And yeah, not this year, it is cold. We're gonna have to keep each other warm under the blankets all night. Okay, we've got it just about set up, but we've got one more little piece to put on the front here. This little rod goes inside of this and like makes yeah, a little gives, entryway. Yeah, it gives you like a little porch almost. Yeah. Or it's so if it rains, it don't just... Yeah, pour in. I don't think it's supposed to rain all weekend, is it? I don't think so. I don't think so either. Tent is complete. And now we're gonna set the air mattress up inside of it. Here's the air mattress that we bought. It's a queen size air mattress. So um, I think it'll fit in there, don't you? It might fill the whole tent up, but it should fit. Yeah, it probably will. Here she is in all her blue antimicrobial glory. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, we've got the air mattress inside the tent. I'm hoping it's gonna fit once we get it pumped up. And Ted is just pumping for dear life. Is it working? I don't know. It looks like it's in there. I don't know. So you can either plug the internal pump in or use a hand pump. And we have a hand pump because obviously we don't have any electricity out here. Let me see. I don't think it's doing anything. Okay, there was a little valve that we had to turn to get it to pump up, but it's going in. We got some leaves in there, but you know what? We are roughing it. We're roughing it this weekend. I don't care. No worse than the dogs. No, that's true. The dogs bring leaves into our bed every night. We're switching off on the pumping. Oh my yeah, God. It'll wear you out. Yeah, it's a lot of work. <laughs> we're getting it though. Oh, your thing died. Y'all look, we're making progress. Yeah, it's getting there. We're just having to switch off because it's like a lot of work. After we got quite the workout pumping it up by hand, um, it fit in here. So this is our bed for the night. There's a little room on each side. So I can put like my purse and stuff in here not going to be too bad and then we'll put the rest keep the rest of the stuff in the car and just lock it up but that's where we're sleeping tonight guys right here in the forest i think it's going to be awesome look at the beautiful color of the sky over there look at it that way. let me see oh yeah gorgeous out here tonight and uh yeah there's lots of people here we are just tucked over here in a corner we're probably gonna go explore a little bit once we get our camp finished setting up all right now that we've got the tent set up and the air mattress and everything i put our pillows and blankets in there we're taking a little bit of a breather sorry there's gonna be loud 
engines all in this vlog. And we got our camp chairs here, we got our drinks. We're about to set up the grill and grill some burgers tonight. But uh, yeah, we're having a little break, little rest after that. <laughs> Ted got a workout pumping up that. I got a workout pumping it up, pumping it up. But he had to do it again because we kept letting the air out of it. Once it starts to get full, it's not bad. But yeah. Starting it off, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Ted's putting charcoal in the grill and getting it ready to light. Yeah, we'll do burgers tonight. We bought bur burgers and sausages. So we're gonna do burgers tonight. We'll do sausages tomorrow night. <laughs> Everything is like at an angle. When I lay down in the tent, we're gonna be sleeping like with our feet up in the air, like we're sleeping on a slope. <laughs> yeah, it was a little bit flatter back where they had that green one. Yeah, this was the best spot we could get back here. It'll be fine. We're just camped back behind somebody's trailer back here. Yeah, nobody cares, man. Everybody's so friendly and cool here that I've encountered so far. Light it up. So our, the fire went out in our grill and the coals are burning down and I'm about to pee my pants. So we're gonna walk over to the porta potties over here. Uh, ooh, I gotta pee so bad. And it's still too light out for me to just pee in the woods like people could see me. So are you taking a shortcut? Ted's just, can we walk through there? I don't want to get ticks or poison ivy or something, but no, nah, it doesn't look too bad. All right, we're going to take a little shortcut through the woods. I have a feeling I'm going to be walking this quite a bit. Whoops, I slipped and almost fell, but did not caught myself. All right, trying to make my way through here without busting my ass. But yeah, you guys can see the porta potties right here. I'm about to go pee. That was one of the cleanest porta potties I've ever been in in my life. Are we going back through the woods? Um, but it was really hard for me to hold my gimbal in there. I was like, damn it, why did I bring this with me? I wanted to show you guys the experience of walking through the woods to use a porta potty. And it looks all hazy out here, but it's, I thought it was smoke or fog, but it's dust from these dirt roads. My uh, docks are already covered in like red dust, but fuck it. I'm already balls deep into this adventure, so. We're just gonna go with it. How's the grill coming along, baby? I have no idea what he's saying. He's talking to me, but I can't hear him. A lot of smoke. <laughs> yeah, we better go start trying to dig the food out of the out of the car before it gets too dark, yeah. So we are fucking idiots, y'all. We did not bring plates, paper towels, a spatula, or any utensils whatsoever. All we have are burgers, mustard, relish, and buns, and buns, and a grill. That's it. I don't know what we're gonna do. Yeah, we can use your knife to like flip the burgers, but yeah. what are we gonna eat them off of? I have some napkins in the glove box. Yeah, just set, set them on the. We'll set them on the cooler. We'll eat them off napkins, y'all. Improvisation. We are. We'll go back into town tomorrow and get the things we forgot. We were like so excited to leave today. I can't believe, usually I'm so prepared. But yeah, I screwed the pooch on that one. But well, we're gonna cook these up and consume them in some way. The air mattress deflated because I didn't turn the valve all the way. So Ted's having to redo it again. So sorry, babe. Also, I found these napkins in the car, which I was gonna use as woods toilet paper, but now we're gonna have to use them to eat with. Y'all, it is getting dark and I apologize, but there's nothing I can do because there's no light out here because we're just out in the middle of a field and Ted is putting the burgers on the grill. Hopefully you can see that. Um, after we eat our burgers, we are gonna go explore around some of the grounds and stuff. So I'll be able to show you guys more. I'll try to show you these burgers. We're basically gonna eat a burger on a bun with mustard. That's it. That's what we've got off of Ooh, a napkin yeah, on the cooler. I don't want relish on a burger. We got the flashlight out. We're grilling by flashlight on my uh, Pixel phone. <laughs> yeah, we should have brought that little light. It would have lit, lit Yeah, we, nice. we meant to bring Ted's spotlight thing, but we forgot. Oh, well. It's solar powered. Yeah. How are they looking, baby? I don't know. They look good. They're not burned at all. I just walked over to the porta potty with the flashlight. But I went on the road and it was way easier. Uh, I think they still need a little bit more. We've had the lid on them. Yeah, maybe I'll leave the lid off. Yeah, let's leave the lid off and just let them cook a few more minutes. 
Um, it's only 7.30, guys, and it's already, like, pitch black. I keep forgetting it's, like, fall time now. Oh, yeah, that one's real bloody. It's got yeah, lights. they need more time. We need to leave the lid off, I think. This is our setup over here. We've got buns on top of our dirty cooler because that's just how we roll. All right? And uh, we're, we're going to put burgers on buns. And for those of you who are going to inevitably ask me if I'm still on the carnivore diet, Yes, technically, but also I'm eating a bun. I haven't eaten anything today, you guys, and I'm starving, so fuck it, I'm eating a bun. Yeah, the And other... we have limited food options here, so. We're pulling the burgers off the grill, you guys. Yeah, I, think ready. Yeah, I figured we'd be able to burn a fire for light. But... Yeah, but we can't. We have mustard down here <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> All right, y'all, we're gonna eat our dirty cooler mustard burgers and then I'll catch back up with you. But Ted and I got on the bike after we ate our burgers and we're coming up to the, like the little bar area and We're gonna go check it out and see what's going on here. I think I hear a band, baby Yeah, I'm sure it's right up here. Oh, yeah, I think there's a live band playing up here y'all We're gonna go see if we can get a drink. There's people everywhere. This is awesome. I'm having a great time Oh, yeah, they're up here um, all right, y'all, I'll tell you what we find up ahead. Y'all, we're inside. This is the Red Thorn Club. There's a band over there, and there is a goddamn mechanical bull over here, okay? Let me see if it starts going. Let's see how this dude does. Oh, there he goes. There he goes. <laughs> I think this is the first place in my life I've ever been where there's a fucking mechanical bull. We're inside the bar waiting in line to get a drink. It took forever, but we finally got a drink at the bar, and now we're waiting on the bathroom. And they're very strong. Like, it's all liquid. Very strong. I'm only going to have one of these. Jesus yeah. Christ. We'll be drunk after this. Yeah, this is... I should have just got a light beer, man. This is... I got a whiskey and diet, but... Jesus, he poured half of this whiskey. Ooh, the ladies is open. I'm going to pee. We are outside the bar area and looking down on like the event area where we're gonna go tomorrow and it is so beautiful out here. Look at the moon. Oh yeah. The camera does not do it justice. And we have met the most delightful people. We just stood in line with like this 75 year old guy from New Zealand. He was so fucking cool. We met these people from Fort Worth. Like mm -hmm. the people are so cool here. We're having a great time. And uh, we're probably just gonna finish this drink and then head back to the tent because we wanna be nice and fresh and bright for tomorrow because we're gonna come do all the events. So join us for that. Like a tire. 